thought it might be interesting just to explain a little bit how this works in Studio, the Autosuggest. So Autosuggest can come from a number of places. Um, so you can see in the settings here, it can come from your turn bases, Autosuggest dictionaries, translation memories and machine translation, auto text. You can have custom Autosuggest providers. So I've got a, one that uses regular expressions, another that uses um, tilde. So the tilde turn base can be, can, can be used as an Autosuggest provider. But I've turned those off. Um, and what I'm going to look at is just the translation memory and automated translation settings. I, I won't be using a, a machine translation engine for this, so it won't actually use that. Now you can specify the number of characters that must be typed before it displays any suggestions. I've just set that for two, so to be two. So just so you know where I'm coming from to begin with. I move over onto the language pairs and go to my translation memory settings. I'm using the default 70% for, um, for my search settings in the TM and a 60% minimum match value for the concordance, just for this example. So if I translate the single document and I open this one, I'm just gonna go English US to English United Kingdom. File opens up and let's create a brand new translation memory. So we're gonna go US to GB and I'll just finish there. So that's now complete. And if I just copy source to target for the first one and confirm it, you can see that when I move down to the second segment, what I'm actually getting at the top here, this is a concordance result. It's not a fuzzy match. This is a concordance result. And as I start typing now, as I'm typing, well, it's, it's um, case sensitive, so I put in the H on capital, capital H. Um, it's now giving me the results and I can just select um, the, the one I want. So that's coming from the concordance results. If I delete that and go back up again, and if I go into my project settings, and if I was to change this and go back to 70, no, sorry, reduce this to 60, so that I get a TM match from the translation memory, then I can use a fuzzy match as opposed to a concordance. So just let me show you how that works. If I come back down into there, this time I'm getting a fuzzy match at 61%. And if I start typing this time, rather than they're getting the concordance results, the priority will be given to the fuzzy match. Um, but either way, if you can't find one, it will find the other and it will suggest it to you. Um, and actually, as you can see as well, I was able to go out of that and come back in again. If I was to go back up to here, for example, tall, man, and I'm getting results again. So it doesn't stop. If you go out the same sentence and come back in again, it will continue to work. I'm not quite sure what happened um, to you, you when you did your testing. But that's it. In a nutshell, that's how it works. So not the same as the autocomplete or the... Um, uh, what do they call it in MemoQ and DVX, the auto-assemble, not the same as the auto-assemble either. It's doing it on the fly as auto-suggest. I hope that was interesting and just clarified a few points.